To give us more insights on the country's COVID-19 situation, we have on the phone DOH spokesperson under Secretary Maria Rosario Vergere. Yusek Vergere, welcome po to the big story. Yes, good evening, sir. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Magandang gabi po. And the officials and experts did warn us weeks ago na tataas pa. They told us to prepare for more peaks and more highs. Pero ang tanong po ngayon, gaano katagal pa po? Tataas pa po ba for how long before we expect the numbers to level off? Uh, actually, sir, uh, based on analysis, no, if we compare this from the previous increase in cases last March and April, Nung March at April po, nung nag-umpisang tumaas ang kaso towards the end of February, nakita natin yung peak ng mga kaso about six weeks after that. Dito po, nakakaapat na linggo pa lang tayo, pero yung peak po natin ngayon, na-surpass na niya yung March and April. And the projections and even experts, sinasabi nila, hindi pa yan yung peak natin. So we will continue to expect increase in the number of cases hanggang sa September po yan dahil napaka-transmissible nitong Delta variant. But what would be more important for all of us is for us to maintain yung severe and critical po natin is below 2%. Kailangan po yan ang goal nating lahat so that we do not overwhelm our healthcare system. Okay. In the meantime po, we're also looking at our numbers, yung positivity rate. We used to be at 1 is to 5%. It then crept up to 1 is to 4. Now we're nearing 1 is to 3. So talk to us about the positivity rate and also yung fatality rate po. Kamusta po doon? Uh, yes, sir. No? So when we talk about the positivity rate, makikita po natin na talagang it's increasing. And with you looking at the other areas in the country, makita natin talaga yung pataas talaga ang positivity rate. One of the things that we are looking at right now would be the active case finding that our local governments are doing and therefore it's more skewed on the patients with symptoms uh, those patients who had been exposed that's why we are really having this positive number or increase in the number of positive cases so our hope would be that you know towards the uh, latter part of september we'll be able to bring this down uh, ngayon po kasi talagang aggressive lahat ng response natin as to the number of deaths, uh, we are having increased in the number of deaths, but it has not surpassed yet naman yung ating number of deaths, daily average deaths, during the March and April increase in cases. We are seeing increase in the number of deaths in Region 7, Region 3, and the National Capital Region, and for the other regions as well, pero hindi ganun ka mark. So we are looking at this right now, and we're trying to analyze, but mostly ang mga deaths po natin talaga ay naandun pa rin dun sa mga vulnerable population natin and those unvaccinated. Okay. In the meantime po, what does this all mean for our hospitals and health facilities, especially those outside of NCR? Well, of course, uh, this means that we still need to continue on having beds ready, continue on pre-positioning our logistics and supplies, and of course, the support of national government will be there. We need to expand more beds because we, are, we, we know that the cases will increase. We need to be able to strengthen our navigation and triage system so that we, can only, we will only accommodate those who are severe and critical in our hospitals and have those uh, the others at, uh, in our health other health facilities para po ma-preserve po natin ang hospital para dun po sa mas nangangailangan. So we are trying to do this right now and actually we already have established one hospital command centers in all of our regions and hopefully this will be working for us so that we can be able to navigate properly all of our patients and everybody's going to be accommodated. Maraming salamat po, Yusek Vergere. That was DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere.